everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we will see how we can create a dual timeline slicer in power bi let's get started so this is one of the custom visuals and we do not have in the visualization pane we will have to add it so first i'll go here and i will click on get more visuals and uh, we will let it load now here you can either search a dual slicer i can see it right here so i will select this now here you, this is also showing how it will look like so you have a timeline that you can filter out through the timeline and you also have the date um, drop down where you can select the range this is a free and we will just go and add it now it, the import is successful the visual was successfully imported to your report okay now I already have this data which is my project management data. I have a start date and I also have an end date which I have not added here. Let me just add end date also right next to the start date maybe. So I will bring the end date here and we will remove the hierarchy so that it appears. So we have start date and end date. Now I'll come here and I will select this to our column date slicer now here you have two fields that you have to populate so they which will define the range of the data that will be that you can filter out so we have the start and end date i will just bring start date here from this start date till the end date where is end it yeah and now you see change the filter for example if i want to see data from 20th to let's say let's go back fifth so now it's showing here and it will filter your data accordingly uh, you can also move it around and you can see that it is filtering the data you can also move it like this And let's say, and it will keep changing the data accordingly. Now, if I try to further format this, there is not much you can do. It only appears as a general formatting that you can format the how you format any of the Power BI visuals. So you have properties where you can change the size. We can also change the size from here, like this, or how you want it. There's not much you can do. This is all that it is providing. You have a title which is title here let's say we can change filter let's slide filter by the range start till end it and let's make it a little bold let's bring it in the middle or remove the bold we can make the text color gray and the background we can make the background gray and text color white or the text color black so this is how you can change it you can also have a subtitle divider spacing however you want it in the effects you can add a background for example like this just remove it we can add a visual border you can add shadow you can add the data format for example how you form, want to format the date here you have the option here and then you have header icons and all texts so there's not much you can do with the formatting this is all you have but still it is pretty useful if you want to add a date range a slicer of date uh, which will give you column and the drop down and your reports i hope this video helped keep watching for more don't forget to subscribe thank you